Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog style intro to this new trip report. Now, what is the subject of today's trip report you might be asking? Well, today I'm flying Delta to San Diego in their economy main cabin. Now, apologies if I look dead inside, but it is about 5-ish, almost 5.30 in the morning, which means my shuttle to JFK will be here soon. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and let's pick up with me at JFK. One short car ride later, and I am at John F. Kennedy International Airport's Terminal 4. Since it's my first time here, I'm pretty excited to see what it's like. First impressions are pretty good. I really like how the terminal building is designed, and I really like the lighting as well. After checking in for my flight, I head to the security line, which is packed. After waiting in line for quite a while, I finally cleared security and got greeted to these great views of the tarmac. However, I don't have long, as before I know it, my flight is boarding. So I have to head down to my gate, which today is B26. Here's the aircraft that will take me to San Diego today, a Boeing 767-400ER. Economy class. Okay. What's, what's your seat number? Um. Let's see that, uh. Fifty B. B this way. All the way down. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So after walking through the cabin for quite a while, I found my seat for the next few hours to San Diego. So without further ado, time for a seat tour. So, as always, each seat has its own window blind, which goes up and down, like so. I am also happy to report I found the legroom to be pretty good. Down here in the seat back pocket, you can find the safety manual for the aircraft, which is a Boeing 767-400ER. There is also a puke slash air sickness bag provided. Up here is a fold-down table, which, in true economy class fashion, was pretty flimsy. Each seat also has a universal plug outlet, which can be really useful. Now, I'm sorry to report that this aircraft wasn't really clean. There were crumbs in the crevices, and it seemed like the cleaning crew didn't really do their job. Now, the seats feature a reclining function, and at first I thought it was absolutely terrible as the seats didn't move an inch, but later I found out that something must have gone wrong or malfunctioned when I reclined for that first time, as the seats did go back, and I found the recline to be pretty adequate. I find these seats to be very comfortable and very well padded, and I really like the inclusion of a adjustable headrest. It really helps when you try to nap on these seats. Stay up. 
Before I knew it, we pushed back from the gate and we headed towards the runway. And with that in mind, I think it's time we take a look at our route for today. Our route would see us head west, through Pennsylvania and the American Midwest, before heading over Kansas, Colorado, a bit of New Mexico, and Arizona, before descending as we near San Diego. We will travel across 14 states, and if everything goes to plan, our average flight time should be about 5 hours and 9 minutes. So, with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. So now that we're airborne, I think it's time we take a look at the in-flight entertainment. The IFE has lots of variety, ranging from movies, to TV shows, to music playlists. And as you can see, all of them are organized into lots and lots of different categories which should make finding the movie, TV show, or music playlist you want to watch or listen to very easy. However, as seen here, I had trouble with the IFE's touchscreen sometimes. It wasn't really that responsive. Last but not least, there's also a flight map on the IFE. After a while, the flight attendants started serving the quote-unquote in-flight meal, and since this wasn't a trans-Pacific or transatlantic flight, only small snacks and drinks were provided. crew also began selling wired headphones for about two dollars, which I thought was pretty pricey. Anywho, without further ado, let's explore this plane. Economy class on Delta's 767-400ER is laid out in a 2 plus 3 plus 2 configuration. There are also many bathrooms throughout the plane. I'm happy to report that everything in the bathroom was clean, spotless, and worked perfectly.
Alright, so with the Lou review out of the way, let's head back to my seat. As we start to descend into San Diego, I will summarize my thoughts and experiences from the journey. So first, the positives. I found the seats to be quite comfortable and the recline to be perfectly adequate. The bathrooms were clean and everything worked as intended. And the IFE also had lots of variety and I enjoyed using it. Next, to the negatives. The cabin was not really clean and there were crumbs in the crevices and it felt like the cleaning crew could have done a better job, but aside from that, that's really it. Now the cost. This journey costed about 380 US dollars, which in my opinion is not terrible, but is not that good either. In my opinion, prices can be lowered for an average five hour, nine minute flight, but then again, this trip was only booked a couple months in advance, so demand would always be higher. So, in conclusion, would I recommend Delta's Economy Main Cabin from John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York to San Diego? Yes, service is adequate and the crew members were nice and friendly. I also felt like everything was working, and aside from a kind of dirty-ish cabin, I felt like everything worked out perfectly on this trip.